tired of the basic creatures on the island? Then this one's for you, because today we're going through a list of the most interesting, unique, and useful dinos you can add to Ark Survival Ascended. Starting with the Ceratosaurus. This is one of the most popular modded creatures in ASA right now, and it's not hard to see why. This dino is roughly the size of an Allosaur, but with a lot of added power. It's fast, it poisons things, and it heals. What else could you ask for? These guys are not the strongest predator out there, but they can go head to head with a T-Rex and win. Mostly. Its bleed and healing abilities are what make it really awesome though. The more it attacks with its venom, the more it heals. It also has a speed sprint similar to the Rhino, which makes it really fun to ride around on. To get one of these guys to fight for you, you're gonna have to get it drunk, which is harder than it sounds. You'll need to make a special potion, feed it to one of your animals, and then offer it as a chew toy to the Serato. Once it's had enough, it'll wander around like a, well, drunk, while you chase it trying to put superior kibble in all of its orifices. This creature was the last to be added to the Ark Editions collection in Survival Evolved and has now been remade for Survival Ascended. Fun fact, it's based on a real dino that existed with the same name. That one didn't like to get drunk as much though. At least I assume. Next up, the Cornosaurus, a mythical Wendigo beast that stalks players from the Redwoods. This creature specializes in tearing things apart, so it is not the best thing to stumble across in the middle of the night. The Cornu has five different abilities, most of which revolve around bleed damage. Its main attack restores its health and stamina with every bite, so it has a big advantage in long fights. It's also very fast. It can chase down a dinosaur across the map with its charge ability, and it has a knockback tail whip for anything that gets close. This creature is absolutely terrifying at night, especially when it reaches maximum blood Lost, which you can see by its glowing red eyes. Every small and medium-sized creature will automatically run when they see it, including alpha raptors and megalodons. And you probably should too, because taming it isn't easy. Here is it destroying the previous creature on the list. It can even fight back against the Giga for a while. It won't win without help, but it can certainly do some damage and then easily get away. Moving on to the Dinosuchus. The most downloaded modded creature in ASA is this T-Rex-sized gator. It does everything a Sarko does, but it does it better. Actually, it eats Sarkos for breakfast in one bite. This is a super versatile mount, and it comes with a really powerful ability, the Gigabyte. It uses this charged attack where it opens its mouth and then clamps down for a ton of damage. If the prey somehow survives, it gets the Fractured Bebo, meaning it's not going far because it'll lose health with every step it takes. So, of course, in order to tame this guy, you need to climb into its mouth without annoying it. You'll find it hanging around rivers and oceans, where it'll eat almost anything it comes across. Just wait for it to open its mouth, feed it some superior kibble, and then run away before it eats you. It may seem slow and cumbersome on land, but it more than makes up for it with its strength and debuff. It has a huge fighting advantage against almost anything, because animals are not smart enough to stop moving when they're bleeding out. Also, it has a tail swipe, so that's nice. Now we have two creatures, Mara Raptor and Mara Rex Duo. These redesigned and genetically enhanced Raptor and Rex combo have some of the most interesting and unique abilities on this list. Starting with the Raptor, which is now lightning fast, both on land and in water, it has a ton of new abilities, including thermal vision, echolocation, which debuffs creatures, as well as some new melee attacks, a roar, and the ability to walk on two or four legs. They will even prevent Pegomastix attacks by grabbing them out of the air and eating them. These things are deadly in the wild, jumping around and shredding survivors and dinos in a couple hits. Even a low level one of these is a huge threat. Also, they have this new mechanic where they can just be pretending to be sleeping. So all of a sudden, they'll smirk or twitch their tail in their sleep, and if there's a dino or a human nearby, they'll instantly stun them and wake up, resetting all taming progress. Now, the Rex is a whole new level of terrifying. It also moves faster than normal, but now it can just pick up medium-sized creatures with its hands and carry them around. Then just casually bite their head off if it feels like it. It can also roar to buff nearby allies like a UD and befriend other Rexes in the wild by communicating with them. This is all in addition to its new claw, stomp, and tail swipe attacks that do devastating stun and bleed damage. Oh, and it can turn completely invisible. Just vanish and then appear somewhere else. These are some of my favorite creatures on the list. 
Next up, the Brachiosaurus. This dino is less of a fighter and more of a moving van. It has a massive health pool and it can defend itself from almost anything, but fighting isn't really the main reason to tame this creature. Where it really shines is its carry weight and harvesting ability. Forget getting five different dinos for gathering, this thing can harvest it all, from meat to wood to metal, only in a couple seconds. It has a few neat attacks as well. There's the front Mega Stomp that does an incredible amount of damage. That's great for clearing out an area of dinos and damaging bases. And the Bellow, which will scare away most dinos in the area, including a Giga. It's like the Uteranus Furor, but a lot more powerful. This makes it an amazing option for harvesting, taming assistance, and even as a siege weapon in PvP. This is very much an endgame utility mount, however, because taming it is kind of a pain. The only way this creature gets Torpor damage is in the front of its hind legs, and only when it's standing up. The Torpor also drops very quickly, so it's this delicate balance act between doing enough damage not to lose aggro, but without killing it, and quickly enough that it doesn't reset all the progress. Once you do have it tamed, the saddle goes directly on the head, so it's also nice for scouting new areas. Now we have the Helicoprion, the first water-based mount on this list, and it's a friendly shark. You can find them hanging out off the coast in the oceans, along with all the other unfriendly sharks. You'll be able to recognize them by their distinct patchy pattern when you see them. They look a little derpy, but they have a very unique and useful ability. Taming them, however, is not an easy task. They're a passive tame, so they won't attack you, but every time you feed them, it'll spawn a massive wave of sharks, like a whole school of them. What makes all this worth it though is their special ability. They can turn any weapon or armor piece into a blueprint, so you never have to risk losing your favorite loot again. Unless it breaks it instead. Oh. Never mind, don't tame this thing. And lastly, we have the Dinotherium, a massive elephant-like creature with huge tusks. This thing puts regular elephants to shame because it's stronger, faster, and a lot more aggressive. These guys are normally found in groups of five or six and are super territorial. If you come too close, you likely won't be quick enough to get away because they'll charge you in seconds. Taming them is also a bit of a challenge. You'll need to separate one from the herd and then come equipped with beer. Then it's a guessing game of body language waiting for the right signs. If you approach at the wrong time, you'll make it angry and it'll attack. Otherwise, it'll take one beer directly from your hotbar and start taming. This process takes a ton of time and patience, but in exchange, you get a great all-around tame. Bonus, Parrot. This shoulder mount really doesn't do much, but it does it very well. The only reason it made this list at all was because it's bright, colorful, and it makes funny noises. The parrot will give you a small experience boost when you pet it, just like the Lystro, and that's pretty much it. It's just nice to have around. What's your favorite art creature? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to the channel for more survival game content. Thanks for watching.